Google redesigns its mobile search experience. Facebook introduces a new login mode. YouTube clarifies how shots analytics work. All this and much more coming up in this 100th edition of the Connected Church News. Yes, it's been 100 weeks of bringing you the top 5 digital and social media news. And it has been an absolute privilege. Stay with me till the end as I give you a bonus tip and also a little bit of history on how we got to this 100th episode. And thank you for being here. Once again, I welcome you. I'm Nachi Lazarus and this is the show that brings you the top 5 digital and social media news in 5 minutes. Let's get started. Our first big news of this week is from Facebook and it's also about Apple. Uh, Facebook announced last week that they are introducing a new mode called limited login mode for app developers who use their SDK, software development kit. Now, this is a reaction by Facebook and also a step by Facebook to uh, mitigate some of the effects of Apple's uh, upcoming IDFA prompts. As you know, when we've been discussing about this in this news bulletin, Apple is coming up with series of prompts that will soon pop up on your iPhone. If you are an Apple user, it will pop up prompts saying, what kind of data do you want to share with the app developer? So this is to give users more control over what information is being tracked and Facebook has been very vocal against this and they've been taking steps to uh, propagate that this is not a healthy thing for the advertising environment and so on but now Facebook is also taking steps to uh, help developers reduce the impact now this particular login mode limited login mode will collect limited data from users so that way Facebook is hoping that some people will opt in to uh, give a little bit of information instead of a lot of information so uh, it's uh, yet to be seen how this is going to impact but if you or your technical team are working with a Facebook SDK then this is a news that you definitely want to pass on to your app developers our next big news is from Google last week Google announced that they are kicking off 2021 with a revamp or a redesign of the Google mobile search experience. They are visually bringing some changes including font changes and uh, design changes and the way they use colors and the amount of space around each search results and so on making it look a little bit cleaner and the information is provided in a much uh, readable much more readable and uh, easily consumable format on a mobile uh, the key thing here is you as a non-profit ministry know that people use google as the top source of any search so they are going to search for your ministry your non-profits information from google and if there is a design change then you might want to quickly check whether your google results are impacted by this change or not so as they roll out they are continuing to roll this out so it's not fully rolled out yet uh, but as they roll out i highly recommend that you google your own ministry name and make sure that it appears properly on the search results our next news is about twitter twitter has rolled out the new verification guidelines as of last week and they also reminded users that this is a new set of guidelines and even if somebody is already verified even if you have have a blue tick on your uh, Twitter account already uh, you need to make sure that it is as per the guidelines if not you will lose it so if you are a verified user then I highly recommend that you check out the new guidelines and make sure that everything is fine in fact Twitter would have reached out to you uh, make sure you check that notification and get back to them if you are not yet verified and if you like to be verified then uh, you can check out the guidelines I will link to the guidelines FAQs in the show notes for your reference. Our next news is from YouTube. If you are a non-profit or ministry that uses YouTube Shorts for online ministry, then this is a news you want to pay attention to because YouTube has clarified how they use shots uh, as part of the analytics how they measure the views and how that impacts the overall youtube analytics where you can go to check out some of the performance metrics and also how youtube shots uh, performance impacts metrics like rpm which is directly connected to the monetization of your youtube channel so these details are explained in that uh, video that they have released i will link to it in the show notes check it out our final news of this week is from LinkedIn. Last week, LinkedIn announced new features that gives more control to the user with relation to the post's visibility and replies. 
the uh, when you post you can control who comments on those posts and who can actually see those posts and it's not just that the interesting thing is linkedin allows you to uh, bring enhanced discussion options for example uh, it says you might want to ask your connections who you know and trust for a particular piece of advice and you can also post to a specific group and so on so linkedin is going a little bit deeper with this with these options and allowing you to have meaningful discussions and bring people into the post discussions who can add extra value to that piece of content that's all i have for you this week but don't go away because we've got a bonus segment coming up uh, starting this week i'm going to add one more minute of a special tip a bonus tip less than a minute probably i'll talk about a tool or a strategy or a tactic or something that you can practically put to use in your digital and social media ministry all right that's a special section that we are starting to add from this 100th episode <laughs> Welcome to the bonus tip of the week. The tip I have for you this week is make sure your visual elements, the way your videos, your images and all that you design and you put out there on social media and the digital space, make sure they align with the current trends. All right? Current trends. People have some specifications and you can actually understand what they want to see and act and then present it to them in a way that they want to see so that they like it when they look at it because social media is a crowded space the way your social media posts look and the way people consume it uh, is is very important for you to pay attention to okay so to help you with that i'm also going to give you a resource the link will be in the show notes or description or wherever you're watching this uh, you will have that link to a report by shutterstock that where the report talks about the current trends of 2021 the report talks about what people like and what kind of design uh, does well what kind of photos are doing well and so on so look at that and and also compare that with your own ministry's design and visual strategy and see if they go hand in hand to together i'll see you next week with another set of news items until then you stay connected stay blessed and stay safe god bless you bye bye